Oh, hey, we're starting today off at the post office. We've got some merch to send out to you guys. It's on the way. And we're going to pick up some packages from you guys and try to get them open. Now, we bought this smart card yesterday's episode. And we got the mail to the post office today. But will we be able to fit the mail from the post office inside the smart card? That's a good question. I guess stick around to find out. Can get your tango stuff. It's very exciting. We just bought a we just bought a smart car. We're gonna look real funny cramming these in the back. <laughs> Jose, uh, I've gotta be. I thought you were just like calling it. No, thank you. Damn it, Bob. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> when we bought this smart car, there was a lot of difficult choices to be made because the convertible is cool for the hot weather where we live here, but then also, when you have a smart car with a convertible, you basically don't have a top half of your back door. This kind of stays here. So I have two choices with these packages. One of them being just slide all the packages in or bring down the convertible and put them through the top. But there's not so many. I think we can't just stack them this way. Big Bob. That was I. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Bob! Bob! It won't fit! Oh no! It's alright, Bob, it fits up. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. Actually, I don't think it's gonna close. No! Alright, Anna. You get to carry this one in your lap. Oh. Which is funny because it's super heavy. That's funny. We don't have far to go though. No. People are gonna be so mad at us for buying this car. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. I regret nothing. Here you go. Package. And a cam. And a cam. Do I have any of my teeth? Okay, looks like we have eight packages. Well, technically nine. I have a ninth package to explain to you, but nine packages sounds like work. I get a little warm when I work, so I am going to put a bandana on to counteract said warmness. But listen, I found an extra package. Kind of a funny story. You see this box right here with my name on it? Uh, one of you guys sent us a package in this box at one time and we liked this so much we kept it for our letters. So if you look inside this box, well, there's a package. I found that in there. But there's like hundreds of letters in here from you guys. Some that you guys just sent us, some of them from packages. Well, I was kind of sorting these letters out the other day. At the very bottom, there was this package. So we have an extra one. We have an extra package. So we can just start here because this one is long overdue. Uh, Jason sent this forever ago. Jason, if you're watching, sorry for the delay, but we must have got buried in packages one week and it just got left in there. Uh, so there's three here. That one has your name on it. Ooh. This is thanks for the content. Found these when cleaning garage flashback 90s throwbacks. I'm super into that. Oh, wow. And it's signed. 
Signed Jason, okay. I'm kind of nervous. Ooh. Oh, wow. Marvel cards. That's awesome. And this other package says open last. Ooh, there's a letter. Let's, we'll read the letter last. Go ahead, open it. Oh, oh. that's so cool. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. I, I love dinosaurs. I've got the whole McDonald's set of those. I'll have to put those with it. So cool. Ooh, yes. Hollow cards. Hollow, some Fleer cards, some... Oh, these are, okay. I've got some of these still sealed. Some Mario Nintendo stickers. Some Nintendo stickers. That's awesome. Those are Is so that a, cool. Is that a pog? <laughs> I think it's a wizard pog. That's awesome. Those are cool. Those have like scratch offs on them. You know what? I've got some of these cards sealed, but I don't have any open, so I might have to see if I can get a whole open set and put them in a binder. That's awesome. Well, thank you for that. Uh, those will probably make an appearance on our other channel. Go subscribe to that. Rubber Duck Yellow in the link's description. All right. Here we go. Next up is Kim from Washington. How do I do this without... I'm going to cut the very edge. Always risky business. <laughs> Ooh, nailed Did it. Did you see it? No, I just saw it. Just skated by that. There's lots of things in here. Ooh. What is that? Oh, I don't have any idea what these are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for a second maybe I knew. Are <gasps> these? Oh, those are for you. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how badly I need these right now. Are those like, uh, machine needles? Down to like two needles. <laughs> what is this? Drink holder. No way. Oh, they're denim ones. Look at these cup holders. A couple, what? I guess we use them in the bread truck. That's awesome. We'll put them in the back of the bread truck because we got cup oh. holders up front, but we don't have them in the back. That's awesome. This is amazing. And we got a note. Uh, Dallas and Hannah, just a little practical gifts from Vancouver, Portland, Benz. Uh, I hope the needles work in your machine. They seem to all be for jeans. Uh, the drink holders open wider than they seem like they will. If they don't work in the cab of the bread truck, maybe they can be attached to the back. We're on the same page. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. That's awesome. Uh, we go through those needles pretty heavily because, well, quite frankly, we stay sewing. So yes. <laughs> we break plenty of them. They start to wear down after a while. The point starts to get duller and duller and duller and it just snaps. It's honestly, if we're going to Walmart for grocery shopping or something, it's honestly a pretty normal thing on our grocery list. <laughs> yeah, I usually buy them out of them and then go back whenever they restock. <laughs> Well, this next one is from my buddy Jacob. We went to school together. Uh, it was actually from my hometown as well. And he sent this one from Chicago today. Perfect little directions. And he left me dotted lines to cut on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be very careful. Last time they sent me a pillow and I almost cut it in half. You <laughs> did. All right, you ready? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Minecraft book. Nice. Open last. All right. Ooh, is Ooh. that a soundtrack? It is. It's a Mortal Kombat soundtrack. And some Dubba Does. Cruel Intentions. Never seen that. Spider-Man. Definitely seen that. You know about... Super seen that. <laughs> we'll have to watch Grey's Anatomy season one together. <laughs> that right there is awesome, though. That's so cool. I don't have near enough soundtracks. Are you ready? Is that a pug sticker? It is with aviators <laughs> on. Oh! This says spoilers. Oh, okay. Wow. Nintendo Power. It's just like a notebook. That's, That's so cool. cool. Well, I'm going to info. It's just like a little notebook from Nintendo Power. I'm going to put that on my Nintendo shelf because that is perfect. All right. Well, let's read this. Uh, Dallas B. Tindo and Hannah Bob Warrior Princess. <laughs> That's my official name. <laughs> it, it's addressed to us, and it says co-CEOs of Tindo Enterprises, LLC. Uh, Dear Mr. Tindo and Mrs. Bob, good day to you, my friend. I hope this package found you in good spirits. All things in this package are items I found in Take a Book, Leave a Book, Libraries in my neighborhood, when I walk my dog, 
Uh, we pass anywhere from three to six, depending on the route we walk every day. Feel free to say what you like for your collection and sell the rest of your booths. Please accept an offering of a DVD season one, <laughs> Grey's Anatomy, a DVD copy of the film Cruel Intentions, which I recommend you and Hannah watch alone. Wink, wink. <laughs> you should also bump that CD of the Mortal Kombat original motion picture soundtrack on your next road trip to get you pumped for the next random thrift you pass along the way. I feel like that might not be a good idea. I might just get out of the van and rip somebody's head off. <laughs> Uh, the obvious bangers in this package, I honestly could not believe my eyes. I first found the Nintendo Power Director book and was blown away. I assume it was something that came with a subscription to Nintendo Power Magazine back in the day. The second was unopened Pokemon cards from McDonald's. That is wild. I have not opened a pack of Pokemon cards since I was a kid, so I was tempted to open them. But I think as fate would have it, the opening was meant to be by you for your viewers. I hope you get one you still need from it. Good luck, buddy. Keep up the great content. From Chicago. By Chicago. Come by Chicago anytime, Jacob. Thank you so much, Jacob. Um, I guess then, yeah, we need to open these on Rubber Duck Yellow. I'll show it off, but you'll have to subscribe to our other channel. And next live opening we do, I will throw this in the rotation and we'll try to get that pesky Pikachu out of it. You know what I'm saying? I think we need two cards for the whole set. We don't need very many. Check this out, though. Tendo box, letters. Yay! It's a, this thing's gonna be full. Very soon. <laughs> okay. Grab the next one. Next one is from Mark in Casagrande. Oh, this is my buddy Mark. Yeah. He lives nearby. Um, okay, we're gonna have to switch to little scissors. Ooh, super effective. Box inside of the package. Okay, now we, now we need the big scissors. <laughs> I can't quite get in there. Mark, you packaged it good. Ooh, that was a nice slice. He probably knew I was going to come at it with the scissors. Okay. Happy Entertainment is watching you open it, right? I'm going to lose a finger <laughs> one day. Oh, wow. I think I see cards. <gasps> Are you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Whoa. <laughs> this is wild. Um, there's a bunch of damaged cards. Mark actually told me about this. And I think he also heard me probably say in a video once that I have a box full of damaged cards. Ooh. I actually really need those. You have no idea. Uh, elite trainer box sleeves. And that's what I don't have enough of. But... I have this no Pokemon card philosophy, no Pokemon card left behind philosophy. <laughs> and uh, it's okay, they're already busted. They're very like flopsy because they're like bentish. There's a lot more sleeves in here though, which is really exciting. Those are awesome. And there's some other stuff in here, a hard drive. We'll have to take a peep, see what's on it. Uh, ooh, some mini figs. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm not going to go through these cards here, but, like, this is going to be a really interesting experience, a bunch of cards to look at on our other channel, because, well, you don't know what's going to be in there, so it's kind of exciting, but then it's kind of sad, because, like, you pull a Charizard out, but then it's bent in half. Yeah. Are you happy to have a Charizard, or sad that it's bent in half? You just won't know how to feel. Thank that's you for tough. that, Mark. It is tough. Like, I... It'll be, I think it'll be fun though, because I think I can make a whole video on our other channel just about damaged cards, because I found some on the road recently, and I've found a few at the bins that are damaged in such ways that like, you just can't imagine how they got that way, so. We found some ripped in half at the bins, we could have just like made hybrid cards and been like, this yeah. one's got 120 <laughs> damage because of the two combined attacks. Yeah, I think Mark dug all those out of a bin at the Goodwill bins, he probably had the same feeling that I did, it was like, I can't leave them behind. <laughs> okay, this one is from Jessica from my hometown. This is wild. Okay. What does that say? Scissor guard. Scissor guard. It is a giant band aid. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, right off the bat, there's so your blanket. Cool. Hold that up while I read the note. Uh, Hannah and Tindo, first of all, we love watching your channel. Much oh. love from your hometown. OBKY, I hope you love some of the things I've collected for you guys. 
My YouTube is Jackson the Dirt Bike Kid. I recognize your name from the comments. It's a work in progress. It's for my son's dirt bike adventures. My name is Jessica on your Discord. Uh, I just started thrifting and reselling myself. Keep up the great work. Love Jessica and Charlie. Charlie's the dirt biker then, huh? That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Well, I can go ahead and put that where it goes. <laughs> I got a whole shelf back here. Oh, that's so exciting. That's awesome. I don't think you have that one. I don't either. It's a very specific <gasps> color. Do you know what this is? Yes. Is there more of Did them? Did you see the ear? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I should probably wait to go back to the shelf. I know what this is. I do too. Close your eyes. We're gonna get I first. I don't know which ones We're they good. are though. They're both very nice. The clothes are awesome. All right, open your eyes. <gasps> Yay! Do you know oh what they gosh. are? Oh my gosh! Remember the day that I was like, oh my gosh, I really wanted this doll and I'm so sad that she had the like chewed off fingers. This is her. That's awesome. Well, tell us what you know this, about it. Do you know what her name is? Yes, this is Jade. This is from 2002. I want to say the Funk Out collection. Um, I know so much about it because my best friend had this doll and she had the coolest outfits. This is her original outfit. I have her shoes, I think. That's awesome. <gasps> I'm so excited. Well, I walked off camera because uh, they also sent us a Rugrats watch and I went and got my other one. I don't have many from this Burger King collection, uh, but I've got the Angelica one and then there's the Chucky one. That's awesome. Super, super, super awesome. Okay, there's also um also I oh, what? <laughs> a brat's hat. Put that on. I want this hat from IRL. Yeah. Like beautiful. How often do you wish you could have real versions of brat's clothes? Um, you know, there's a lot of brat's clothing. And I was like, mm, not my fave, but there is some that I'm just like, yeah, I'd, I'd wear that in a heartbeat. Like this, honestly, her little jacket, wear it in a heartbeat. Well, there was also a Pez in here and some baby Yoda stickers. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Well, thank you guys so much. You guys hold things down in the OBKY. It's kind of a good coincidence. One package from Owensboro, Kentucky. One package from someone from Owensboro, Kentucky to a guy from Owensboro, Kentucky. <laughs> it's a medium sized town in Kentucky. If, if you've never heard of it, uh, 60,000 people or so inside the city limits. These are shoe charms. Oh, cool. You think they'll go in my Crocs? They will! I think okay. they will! Well, I'm embarrassed to show you because these are like, these are my work Crocs, so they're filthy. Yeah. But these are going to spice it up a little bit. You think I should put the smiley face right in the Crocs? You think? Yes. Or, oh, they just pop in there. Smiley face in the Croc. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dope. They're so dirty. I was like, I was looking at them the other day and honestly they got dirty. I'm just going to have to show you. You're not going to know. They got this dirty almost as soon as I bought them, right? They're gross. I've cleaned them. Yeah, we've cleaned them, but they did, as soon as I bought them and wore them into the dirt once, they just weren't right. So I don't know if I recommend the light colored Crocs, but I do recommend the decorations. Do you like, recommend the Crocs in general? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm a Croc fan from way back. Did you have a pair of Crocs growing up? Oh yeah, well I was already pretty much an adult when they became popular. Um, I had a pair. I had a red pair. I had a pair of blue with like rainbow paint splatter on them. I'm leaving that smiley face in there. You should. Okay. This one doesn't have a, a cinder name. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. Oh, there's Sciz a note. Scissor guard. All right. Let me check the note first and then we'll, uh, you guys take a peek. Oh, I dropped it. I keep, <laughs> I've dropped four things like four times in this video. Okay. Uh, hey Tindo bro, you can go ahead and start showing a few things up on top. Hannah Bob, uh, that's officially your name now. I know, right? If Hannah starts her own channel, does she have to call it Hannah Bob? Oh, is that like <laughs> a rule at this point? Hope all is well with you guys. Uh, just wanted to let you know how much I love your videos. I watch every morning after work and uh, I have my coffee with your video. I am ready to head out to start my hunt at all kinds of stores. My reselling business is doing great, by the way. I'm thrifting uh, big numbers every week. I also know that I would not have this business if it weren't for you guys and all the amazing things you do. Uh, from the, So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Can't wait for all the great videos to come. Best wishes to you guys, all the love in the world. Your pal, David. P.S. I will give you guys a small clue as to what's in this box, and that's Pokemon. That's my size. 
It's an extra large. Okay, it's your size. It's my size. <laughs> it's... But look, you guys have just gave me a new outfit. Doesn't it match my Brad's hat? You have to wear it tomorrow. <laughs> Which, I mean, come back for tomorrow's video. We're taking, actually, come back later today. I don't know if she'll have this on, but later today we'll be live on this channel. You might have to, you might have to at least rock the hat. Maybe. Uh, but thank you, David. I see the Pokemon. Oh! I'm just going to go straight to it. That's awesome. Ooh, there's a Pokemon in there. I'm just going to have to make a whole video on the other channel yeah. with more Pokemon stuff. Ooh, this is awesome, too. I've always wanted to collect these, but honestly, I just kind of read them and then put them in our antique mall. But I might have to, since this is number one, which I haven't come across yet, I might have to just put it on the shelf, keep it, and wait for the next ones to come. Super Mario, 32 Valentines with 32 stickers. That's going on the Mario shelf. There's probably some really good puns in there. <laughs> That's cool, too. I've never, I, I had this, but I don't have it in box. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to throw those over on the Mario shelf. That's awesome. Look at this. What is it? It's a puzzle. Oh, is it? That's, That's so awesome. cool. And then a Dalek dice game from Doctor Who. That's so really cool, So it's like too. Yahtzee? Right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the Mario shelf. Uh, I really like that Yoshi in box. Okay. Well, we still have more. We do. There's three more now, and they get progressively bigger from here. So let me grab this white one. We'll open it next. Ooh, that one's got a good sound. Listen, let's do some package AMSR. ASMR? ASMR. <laughs> like Christmas. <laughs> it sounds it sounds perfect. And it is from Talon's Cove. Ooh, Pennsylvania. That's, Talon's Cove is the person or the shop name. Pennsylvania is the place. <laughs> Unless there's a Talon's Cove, Pennsylvania, I don't know. Let's take a peek inside though. I love that there's scissor protection in every box now. I love that we're at the point where everyone's figured it out. <laughs> Some people rage when we use the scissors. Some people get real upset, but you know. Oh my oh! goodness! It's got a brother! <gasps> oh my Check it gosh. out. Check it out. That's awesome. Uh, all right, Hannah, start digging in. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave the top down camera on. I'll read the note while you find. I'm so excited about these tiny books. Those are awesome. Paddington, a tiny Paddington bear. I dropped something. Oh no, oh, Kitty's it's a sticker cute. of their logo. Oh, Talents cute. Co. Dear Hannah and Tendo, thank you for all the great content, awesomeness of videos. We are somewhat new to your channel, but watch every day now. We recently joined your Discord group as well. In close, you will find all kinds of shenanigans, lol items we have gathered. If you have time, check out our YouTube channel, Talents Cove. I've enclosed some stickers also. That's awesome. Whoa! Oh, wow! Uh-oh, I see a Furby. Oh no! All right, keep digging. Another one for the shelf. Oh man, this train station is the coolest. I still have to put these two on the shelf too. Well, I've got my dose of daily Furby. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, I had this one when I was a kid. Oh, this is awesome. Go ahead. It's another cute little book for Thomas. That's you right there. Oh, that's so cool. I really want to show you this buzz though. Uh, I actually just saw this in a giant bag of stuff at a thrift store the other day. And I was like, I want that because I had this when I was a kid. Uh, and I wanted another one because it's like a really high quality small version, right? It's not like the big ones that we resell at our antique malls. And it was my, one of my favorite toys growing up. So... And it's, it's karate action. It's really nice. Yeah, that's it's definitely going to go on my shelf of action figures. He's like a little chubbo. He's that's cute. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that. And thank you for including the sticker. Uh, you guys be sure to comment your shop names and stuff below so everybody can give them a click. <laughs> I didn't even see the ducks. So many ducks. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we got two more. And... This one is large, but not heavy. And then the other one's large and heavy. So like, oh, it's a good sound. Ooh. Come here, big scissors. It's time. All right, this is also from Jose. Scissor protection. Works. Do I see what I, I kid you not, we tried to buy some of this today and couldn't. We really did, they were out. Swear. Swear. I'm oh! I did it! <laughs> Wait, no, <laughs> cabbage come up on the stereo! Somebody said it's two boxes of cereal! But it's funny because they sent it because there's Pokemon.
Pokemon cards inside. Oh my god. I didn't know they gave a golden crayon. I crayons. didn't either. <laughs> And you know what I should do is put them on the shelf and keep them forever, but I'm not. We're going to eat them. <laughs> and put the box on the shelf, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So the Walmart closest to our house is this itty-bitty sorry excuse of a Walmart. <laughs> and the, the week that that stuff came out, they had one box of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I didn't even know that they had, were in the other boxes. i got to walk this one off. That's <laughs> so funny. Well, I, I, the, you were so clever putting this one on top because that's the one we knew and that's the one everyone knows. And I think we even showed this one off on camera. The fact that I picked that up and there was more under there <laughs> scarred me. That was hysterical. I'm embarrassed at how excited I am about cereal. We're going to eat cereal for dinner. <laughs> oh, well, I, I actually, I do not, I can't tell you the last time I had cereal for breakfast. You guys comment below, when do you eat cereal? I eat high fiber cereal like, it's like my dessert after dinner. Yeah. That's oh my god! Been our routine. Oh my gosh! Well, That's we're eating every bit of that. Are any of you guys collecting those? Did anybody buy them and put them on their shelves? Not I. I'm gonna eat every one. Okay, there's some uh, Beanie Babies in here. That's awesome. Oh, there's, oh wow! Yeah, there's a bunch of them. We may oh. just have this whole set between these and the ones we have in storage. Yeah. We were uh, when we first started our second channel. It was gonna be toys and not just gaming stuff. It's kind of just become our quote unquote gaming channel now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that cereal. Can we just break now and eat some of it? <laughs> uh, and when we were doing that, we were trying to make some Beanie Baby videos. Oh Whoa! no, that'll be my first Monster Rancher DVD, I think. My Monster Rancher shelf's back here, right by my uh, Rubik's cubes. And yeah, I don't see any DVDs on there. I have three VHS. So over 90 minutes in the beginning. This might actually be the first few episodes. That's awesome. I'm going to put that on the front of my Monster Razor shelf because I don't have a lot of representation on that shelf. Really, it's just the games. Uh, that's awesome. Those are fun too. We can wash those in the bread truck. And oh yeah, Power Rangers official fan club video. No way. No way. I might actually, it's rewound. No, it's not. <laughs> it's all the way at the end. I'll just go ahead and, and uh, we'll just go ahead and hit rewind on it. And maybe we'll give it a look-see. That's what the, that's what the v, VHS VCR C, 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 VHS CRT combo not easy to say um there's one more thing in the box that i snatched because i saw it put them in my hands oh these are from the cereal wait 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 hello is that the mcdonald's pikachu it is so i you guys will have to comment below if you don't know these are anniversary Pokemon cards, and I, I haven't really got it straight in my head yet, but you can see Pikachu's listed on the cereal as well. I don't know if the cereal and McDonald's ones are same, same, or different. But at any rate, it's the 20, it's one of the 25th anniversary uh, Pokemon uh, Pikachu's. I'm so frazzled right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same as the McDonald's one or not. I don't care. All right, we need to, I need to put that in card sleeves. I'm going to set this over here so I remember to put it in card sleeves. Protect it. Oh my gosh. Oh my How about you finish the video? Cere you, I can't talk. <laughs> Deep breath. <laughs> I can't do this. How about you finish the video? I'll go eat the cereal. Okay. But the <laughs> next box is the biggest one. I know. That's why I want you to finish it. I'm too stressed out. Okay. <sighs> you know that name, right? <laughs> Bob. Bob keeps sending us these ridiculous oversized packages. Last uh, Hannah had to ride the whole way home with this in, his, in her lap, by the way. It was not that bad, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes, All right, but there's, no. There's a note. <laughs> it's t-shirts, or some t-shirts. Go ahead and start holding them up. Uh, hey, Tindo and Hannah, Christmas clearance and thrifting this year was pretty good, so I thought I'd share the bounty and send some stuff your way. Be well, stay groovy. Big Bob. 
What? Level 21 unlocked. That's awesome. Is that my size? <laughs> no, that's, I think it's an extra large. It's your size. If I Good. were about a foot shorter. It's wide enough. It's just not tall enough. A NASA shirt. That's awesome. Oh. What? A, a nice Luigi cap. It's not like the super cheap ones. It is too small for my head. Oh, yo. That's awesome. Check that out. That's the uh, world's smallest, which we don't necessarily collect, but we collect some things that coincide with this, so I'm going to put this on my yo-yo shelf. Are you ready for this? Let's see it. Got another Rocco shirt, and it's pink. It's the same color as the other one I have. Now I have two pink shirts. You got the same one in two different colors? That's exciting. Yeah, that's super awesome. Uh, that's cool. That You could actually use that for your room that you've been decorating. Yeah, that's super cool. Here's a purse for you. Oh. Are these, what is this? Single crew sock. Oh, it's a sock set. Okay. That's awesome. Baby Yoda socks. Those are oh. It's just, it's just Nightmare Before Christmas dice. Go put that Ooh. on your Nightmare Before Christmas That's show. like good for you and me. That's awesome. <laughs> you have to, you have to carry this. Put your, put your coin change in there. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Whoa! That'll go on the yo-yo shelf. There's more shirts. Oh, this is awesome. Things are starting to get weird! <laughs> that is my favorite Rick and Morty character. It is! Uh, like mother, like daughter. Aw, whoa! And then, about 47 Christmas ornaments and a Marvel yo-yo. These are beautiful! We're we're both properly inhabited. Do you think I should go no bandana though? <laughs> My grip. I think it's a little small. My little pony one. These are crazy. <sighs> we're gonna have a decked out Christmas tree next year. We're gonna need a bigger tree or another one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. For sure. So we were trying to set up our live shows last year to coincide and start with Christmas and then launch off the new year. Didn't work out. We didn't start them until about two or three weeks ago. Uh, but we're doing it hard now, so when Christmas comes back around, we've actually got a huge box of Christmas ornaments you guys have sent us over the last two years. And uh, we're going to have to get a big old tree to put right here in the middle of the game room. I hope it's a yellow tree, though I don't know how we're going to make that happen. I've been Googling. It's fine. Uh, but we've got a lot of ornaments to put on it, and this is just more of them. So Hogwarts. That's awesome. Oh, an R2-D2 picture frame. Is Groot. Um, Bat oh, I thought it was Batman and Darth Vader. <laughs> this one's so beautiful. That is cool. This one is also a fave. She's oh, so zero! That is awesome. Uh, look at this SpongeBob tin, huh? complete with legs. <laughs> that's great. This is heavy, full of something. Hello, but that's a beautiful Hello Kitty tin. Oh. Okay. Well, first of all, <laughs> Phineas and Ferb ride again, complete. Wizards of Waverly Place, complete. That's awesome. Um, oh, are these more games? Oh, we gotta talk about these ducks. They're, oh, they're oh. Disney characters. It's Mickey, Winnie, and Tigger. Cute. That is awesome. I've, I've recently taken my rubber ducks off the shelf. The little ones anyways. Uh, I'll have to put those with the rest of them. I've got a basket full of them over there. iCarly, and two sealed copies of Shadow of War. That's Very awesome. Very cool. But isn't that a lovely Hello Kitty tin? It's beautiful. I only just now noticed that the tassels on this Pikachu hat are Pokeballs. Are Pokeballs. I was like, why is this so like heavy? <laughs> That's oh, beautiful. Oh my god. Be gentle. You have no idea how many mugs I have. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Hannah is a mug collector. She's a closet mug collector. She doesn't talk about it much, but she's got a thousand. I do. That's a Harry Potter puzzle. They're mostly cat mugs. Oh. oh. That's awesome too. Look at these. Double hat. SpongeBob and his boat. I think there's a video of us playing this racing game on our other channel. Oh, what is this? SpongeBob should not be behind that wheel. Is the, yeah, he is not licensed. Um, is this like a miniature Jumanji? That's, That's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't know that existed. Well, you know, have you seen, I don't know if they're McDonald's toys or what, but I keep seeing the same miniature board games. I just noticed Power Rangers playing. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, what was I talking about? Miniature board games in bag toy walls at the thrift store. 
And I keep wanting to collect them because it's so neat how small they can pack them. But they're not that... They're, they're way smaller than even that. Uh, what are these? I don't know about these. Thomas and Friends minis. Frogger magnet set. Bob, I think you've sent us a lot of magnets. I think they're all on our fridge. <laughs> More of the minis. Ooh. I love in package Thomas stuff. He let, look, I think he purposely put the good stuff on the bottom. Because there's that. Wow. And then boom. That is awesome. Oh. Uh, just like I, I, the Pokemon cards and stuff earlier, that'll show up on our other channel. I collect starter decks like pretty heavy. I'm nervous about opening that. Let's do it. Let's not, let's not dawdle. Oh. PSP oh. UMD. The complete first season of Creature, uh, Creature's Comfort. I thought awesome. it was like a Wallace and Gromit thing for a second. Well, I did too when I saw like the claymation. All right. It's so cool though. I have to watch it. Take that bad boy. These all appear to be Pokemon DVDs, which is awesome. Especially this one. I feel like the Jigglypuff one needs to be on display just because it's just a Jigglypuff DVD. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Ooh, this is all you. I think oh everything else in here is you. I took a peek in there a second ago. All right, ago. Well, here you go. So, Soldier Heartless. That's beautiful. And then are Christmas ornaments are just figures. They're just figures. These are beautiful. So Hannah has a uh, Kingdom Hearts shelf back here, but it's been a little difficult because we certain things we collect hard. Like we have no cap that we put on Bratz and Furby. That's like two of our things, and then video games. Everything else is like we try to keep it limited to a shelf. Like our Pokemon shelf is half a shelf over here. And Kingdom Hearts has been one of those things that we've kept limited, but you keep getting so much cool stuff like that. It's going to have to exp expand to two shelves. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you want it to. These babies are going to get open. These are beautiful. <sighs> yeah, they're quite lovely. That's awesome, too. That's so cool. I keep saying beautiful. I'm like, pick another adjective. SpongeBob SquarePants. A little box of SpongeBob SquarePants. What could be in this? I have no idea. Is this an ornament? Christmas tree ornament. It's a Yoshi. This is my new favorite ornament. We're gonna have to open this one up and look at it. No. Well, this is gonna be tied for first. I have a Furby ornament over there. What do you guys sent me? Oh. It didn't even have to be an ornament. That's a great toy. It spins and everything. But he, he does have a little ornament loop. That's awesome. Put that back in there. We're definitely gonna keep that for Christmas time. There's two more of these figures. Sora and Mickey. I've never seen these. I haven't either. They are lovely. I've peeped a lot of the uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff, but I've never seen those. Okay, and this last thing, I think that's it, is really got me intrigued because I've been peeking down at it. It says Beyblade, which is awesome. So this is a, like a coloring book? Yes, exactly what it is. That will go on the Beyblade shelf. Oh! oh. This will go on the Digimon shelf. It's got a poster in it. Oh my gosh. I need to find a second version of this magazine. Just take that out and frame it. I'm not going to lie. I've got, listen, Bob, I own a lot of magazines. Those are instantly two of my prize magazines. They're well, I mean, beautiful. Especially the, the Digimon one. Uh, but the Beyblade one is another one of those things where like, I, I like collecting things surrounding the things I like. So like Beyblade, basically I've got Beyblade and a couple Beyblade Arena's accessories and that's it. I don't have a lot of media for it other than the video games. I have almost all the Beyblade video games. Digimon, kind of the same way. I've got most of the games. I just bought two of the last ones I didn't have the other day. But like I don't I've got a couple toys, but not a lot of other things to put on display. So those will definitely both go on display. And then Game Informer. A couple issues I don't have. That's awesome. Well, I've got a lot to sort because I need to get these sorted into my Game Informer collection because it's getting pretty ridiculous. It's getting to where I have a lot of the newest ones. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I think we're gonna have to wrap this video up so I can drink my orange juice and watch Power Rangers. <laughs> With your double hat. It looks good. It was a clean tape. Some of my own collection I've put in there, Power Ranger wise, recently have been a little fuzzy. That picture is clear. That looks wonderful. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for going to the post office with us and experimenting with how many packages we can fit in our smart car. I'm going to gobble that cereal up. Uh, I've, I've been eating a lot of like healthy cereal. 
Yes. But we did buy a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I forgot how much I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We destroyed that box. It could potentially be the best cereal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to give it that praise. I'd have to eat a few more cereals at the same time and really judge them. I mean, now we've got three different options. Let's uh, compare them to the Coca-Cola <laughs> and just, the Grand. You want to just go rogue and make food videos all of a sudden next week? I mean, I'm into it. We should do that. We should we should pick things like that for just like a week out of the year. To t that's how we take like a week off. Like our week, a week every few months off is just go rogue and do a week's worth of food content. Just try weird foods? Yeah, gain Love a few it. pounds. It'll be all right. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Thank you guys for sending those packages. Uh, it's always a fun day, mail time. But like I said earlier in the video, come back a little bit later today. Check out our live show. You'll see some of this, uh, you know, make a reappearance, I'm sure. We'll just uh, come back come back tonight and see what's still sitting here. What's, st what's you know, what's going on from mail time. Uh, but other than that, guys, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep our, keep our momentum going because we just hit 10,000 subs. We'd love to hit 15. Uh, and if you've watched this far in the video, also it might be important for you to know we're leaving for a trip first thing in the morning. So it's going to be fun. Be here for that. Come back tomorrow for that trip. Uh, other than that, we do post daily videos, so make sure you come back tomorrow. And until then, peace out.